if your organization has multiple autofills that have the same data, I've got a tip for you. I'm going to reassure you, it is a very common problem. You're not the only one that has to, that, that sees it or has to deal with it. Business has given you an index file and has asked you to create an autofill based on their specific needs. But you've realized that in your system, you have a ton. You have multiple autofills that all leverage that same data that all have a, a very similar index file that's been given to you. Why would you ask for another index file that just has the columns in a different order to match the original request that, that you have by business? I have a way that I usually tackle this situation when I see it that might help you out. So follow along here. All right, an autofill is just a created table in your OnBase database. That's all it is. And within your autofill configuration, you have the option to create a custom SQL query. I know, all these pieces, all these pieces are starting to connect. And I, I think you know where I'm going with this. So why not create a custom SQL select statement that queries off of that autofill table that has the data that we're looking for and just reorder the values that 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 come back. Well, I'm going to show you if if you haven't pieced everything together, I'm going to show you how it's done. I've shrunken myself down and thrown myself in the corner so that I can show you what I'm talking about. Here you could see the original autofill that we have where we have the existing data in our database. Now we're pulling the customer information based off of the account number. As you can see, the primary keyword is the account number, but we have the social security number in there and, we, and our requirements and based on our requirements, we have all that other customer information in there. So we're gonna leverage this. So I've taken the ID, we have the ID of 211. We've created our new autofill now that has the keywords in the order of our new request from the business. So they want the primary to be the social security number. So based off of the user inputting the social security number, we want all the customer information to then populate. So to do that, we have set this specific autofill as an external. And I'm gonna throw up on, on our screen, the table in the database, which you might want to reference when building out your SQL select string. So here in the external autofill configuration, we've selected that SQL select string and we've written out a query. But the difference is, so we're leveraging that 211 ID, the key set data table for that other autofill and we are just selecting in the new order that we've established in this autofill the keywords to be returned in that query it's as simple as that very easy easy button beep, beep. that was easy now you have only one autofill keyword processor one index file and one table in the database that will satisfy multiple autofills. And you know what else is satisfying? Yeah, as our this week's snack. And I have no idea, this is gonna be a surprise to me, I have no idea what this is because it's, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't even know what language it is. If anyone that's watching knows what this says, let me know, but I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna figure it out together. All right, they're puffs. They're a little puff. They have an interesting smell. They don't taste like, they don't smell like cheese, but here we go. That's sweet. It tastes like some sort of fruit. Whatever this says, it probably says warning. It's not very good. You can make a cupcake out of this. It's so sweet. Wow. All right.